only thing is you do have to send five dollars first, but like you can just send it to me and I'll send it back to you. And then they'll activate it. Cash up. Yeah. So that link right there, just yeah, go through that and we'll get free money. Mm-hmm. You know what you should do? That guy said, come on, come on, let's just do this. Let's just open up a cash app. What makes you think that um, that my cash app is not already open? What makes you think that? Oh, you didn't say you had cash app on the phone. Don't you watch the uh, videos where it's talking about um, stocks for kids? I'm using cash app there to trade stock. Oh, yeah, you are. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Good point. Good point. Does Abdullah teach you cash app? Let's, let's, let's cut through the chase, as you mentioned. <laughs> Tell me about some video you think was very controversial. Your last video about, um, you know, the Imam office and, like, people, you know, the seven of you guys, all that stuff, like, very controversial. And why do you say so? Just because it's like a, you know, community infighting, you know? And why do you say that it's controversial when every community is actually undergoing similarly? Free money. Um, one sec, let me, I'm trying to get Latifi here. But, um, yeah, let me just ask you. Oh. Well, I've asked and I, and I haven't gotten an answer. If it's common... Yeah throughout all yeah. communities why is this one all of a sudden supposed to be so so so, so controversial um well here's the thing is uh that's a good question so um, do you do, uh, yeah it's controversial i'll tell you why it's controversial because it's not nice you know it's not nice i think the nicest thing to do is just agree with everything and not question anything and you feel that the, that would be the right thing because of the fact that you believe it's the right thing or it's actually the correct thing to do? No, no, just as far as, like, it's a utility argument. Like, it's just easiest when everybody just follows one order and doesn't question anything. So things get done quicker and more efficiently. Okay, how about if that one order is, you know, BS? If it's cock a doo doo if that one well, order it's still getting them quick. It's still what? It's still what? I still something's still getting done, so I didn't mean to cut you off. Go ahead. So you mean to tell me that as long as you go with the majority, then you cannot go wrong. Is that what you're telling me? Uh sorry, once yeah, uh, yeah, if you go no, it's not to say you're not wrong, but it's just, again, the argument isn't about truth or what's, you know, the correct thing. The argument is a utility argument. It's what's going to get things done the quickest and most efficiently. Okay. Um, and what kind of things are you are you thinking of getting done? No, I'm not me. I'm just saying in general. Like, yeah, in general. What kind of things are we talking about of getting done? You tell me. I don't, I don't want to be involved in anything that is not based off of the Quran. It has to be based off of the Quran. So what, the community here is not doing things based on the Quran? Well, if, they, if, if there is evidence that they're not, then they're not. You know? If evidence shows that they're not, they're not. Who am I or you to deny the evidence when the evidence are the facts? What right do you think we have to do that? Mm. Or sitting silent when we see facts. What right do you think we have to do this? We don't have a right to that. We have a responsibility, on the other hand, to substantiate that in which is true and refute that in which is false. A good point. Okay. So, once again, when people come together, if they're not coming together on the basis of taqwa, yours truly does not want to be in that mix. Period. If I sense that the people are in agreement that they're going after, you know, Iblisi stuff of this world, the dunya, then no. I'm not going to assist you in going after the dunya. I will speak the truth. I will tell you what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said based on the Quran. And then I will be on my way. Why not? Why should I remain around when I know for a fact that you're not going 
after what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is saying for you to go for. Why should I do that? Why should any of us do that? Well, that's a good point. But why, first of all, what benefit, what rewards do we get for doing that, for denying the, the, the Qur'an? We don't get any rewards. Yes, we do. We get rewarded. We get rewarded by the shaitan. He's happy. And you keep on going on about this way. You know, it's unacceptable. People are doing it, you know, and then as the Christians do on Sunday, they go and they ask for forgiveness of their sins. Muslims go on Friday. Right. But it's the same show all throughout the week until Friday. And then Friday night, actually, they start, you know. There was a time when we used to have, like, some activities on, you know, in a lot of the places, you know, institutions that on Friday night. But, you know, that ceased a long time ago. You know, that's been reduced to practically one or two places maybe. But for a fact, Saturday, I mean, you know, the masjid is totally empty. You know, people have gone to the beach house. Into the into the uh, you know to the resorts, but anyway. So I think we need to you know really dissect what was going on in the meeting, because you know I think a lot of the causes will be will be exposed at that point. You know, this is the idea at this time. You understand. No. Did you say oh, yes, I don't Okay, I thought you meant na'am, because at one point you were speaking Arabic, Tayyib, huh? <laughs> okay. This guy. But, um, you know, that's, that's the situation that all across the board is facing. The people are, you know, growing into adulthood and they, know, they don't know their deen. And as time oh, goes God. by, you know, the okay, more people... The more, let me finish this one first, but the more people, you know, that grow older, the less knowledge they have of the Qur'an. And the, in the number of how many of them know it, as well as, as the time goes on. وَالْعَصْرِ إِنَّ الْإِنسَانَ لَفِي خُصْرِ إِلَّا الَّذِينَ آمَنُوا وَعْمِلُوا الصَّالِحَاتِ وَتَوَاسَوْا بِالْحَقِّ وَتَوَاسَوْا بِالصَّبْرِ so even as the time goes on, you have more people that are growing into adulthood and you have, you know, a lot more, uh, you know, distance between them and the Qur'an. It's, it's, it's unacceptable. It's serious. I, I mean, you're, you're in an industry, you go into, can you imagine going into your technolo- technology uh, industry and being at some you know entry level in, in some big time company and you you know your your superiors are you know some big 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 people you know they have their master's degree and everything and then here you are with someone else who cannot even spell the word technology they don't know anything can you imagine that you're gonna ask like how are they even sitting here they cannot even spell it they may be able to talk, but they cannot write anything. They cannot articulate. They cannot apply anything. Why are they there? Why are you there? Yeah. Exactly. So, you know, this is a question that is being posed all throughout the, you know, the, these places, these institutions that people are worshipping. Yes, people are being worshipped in those institutions. People are worshipping those things. And uh, the question is again, why is it that you're okay with such low level of education that practically presents your ignorance of, of, of the fact of the Qur'an? Why are you involved in that? Why are you supportive of that, you know? This is no, I'm not supporting that. I'm no, not you particularly, but people, this is the question that is being posed to all the people of the Republic. La ilaha illallah Muhammad Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. You know, did you listen to the meeting? Did you hear the person... Who said, you know, they were saying good words like halal and khutbah. They even said that Allah revealed first ayah, iqra. And okay, but but uh, they, they did not know the rest of the ayah. They only one knew one word of the ayah. One out of what? Four words? One out of four words they knew. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. No, no, no. When was this? This is the meeting itself. 
Not the last video today, but this was the meeting itself. You didn't hear the meeting? No, I didn't. Okay. It, yeah, I'll send it. I'll make sure it gets to you. That's the one you need to you need to go into. And um, I was tell, talking to to the Latifi Brigade today. You understand? You have to be very okay. careful, you know, because, you know, people have already their agendas on a lot of these things. You know, these are also very politically driven things. You have to be part of the original. You have to stick to your originality, you know, so that everything you know about it, there's no way, you know, someone can allow something there. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, you understand? Right. So that's one thing. And another thing, you have to really be independent mind thinker than, than everybody else because the point of the matter is that um, if you, you know, if you, if you support a person and what they're thinking, but they're not thinking the right thing, you're supporting wrong, you know, if you're supporting falsehood because it's the way of thinking, you know, you got to be careful. So anyway, you know, we will, you know, we're definitely working on, you know, the, 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 the barricades, you know, against the Iblisi forces because they've been trying to attack our supply lines, our positions for the last, for the last 30 days at least, you know, they've managed to cut off some, some things, but Alhamdulillah, Rabbil Alameen, some other things were here. So pushing back. But you'll have to listen to that thing. You'll have to listen to that one. If you listen to that one, then you'll understand. But can you imagine okay. again, just imagine the scenario. It's unimaginable. That's how bad it is. You or anybody else could not imagine being in that predicament where you had your superiors who were all, you know, like master's degree or doctorate, and then you had you know, a subordinate who didn't even know how to spell the word technology. I mean, oh, how, that happened, uh, when? That's how it ha that, someone... that When you listen to the meeting, that's what you're going to be hearing. The level of ignorance is, is too, is, you know, is too low. Well, no. I mean, the level of knowledge is too low. The ignorance is, is just too high. So that's, okay. yeah, that's the reason why, you know, we resign our post in that thing, you know. Because it's not right. You know, you can see, you can have, you know, someone or a group who are all at the same level of their, you know, ill-informed or whatever. And one person, maybe they know a little bit more, so they appoint that one person. But Quran does not accept you to put someone who does not know it in charge of one who does know it. Quran does not accept that. This is something that a lot of the, you know, the local or senior or middle class imams, you know, junior imams, whatever. You know, you had a lot of them running around here during the COVID. <laughs> they don't know that fact. Like, if you're not allowed. If you, you're in the Quranic field, the person who is in charge of you, they have to know more Quran than you. If they don't know more Quran than you, they're not to lead you. And it's worse when they put someone who is younger than you, someone who is a female, to lead a, a, a salah. That's what it is. Whoa, 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 whoa. You know, you have this movement now. I mean, they call it a, a woman revolution of some nature where, you know, the, the woman is the imam of the community now. You don't know about these things? I know. These I, are the problems. We have segregation. We have racism in this form. Where now, yeah, you know, women believe, again, you know, that they, and they're not completely wrong that, they're married to boys. They're not married to men. They're married to boys because our men do not follow the sunnah of Rasul alayhi salatu wasalam. So people are not following Islam. So the boys are growing up to be boys instead of growing up to be men. So now a lot of sisters, or you know, what you want to call them, they say, that's why we are to lead. We need to lead the communities now because the men, we're, they don't have any leaders. We have leaders now. We have to raise families and everything like that now, you see. But, you know, you know, I dealt with this, right? You know, I, well, I, I to listen, to listen. To no, we understand. Life. You know, the brothers, brothers, incorporated brothers understands the situation. But practically, what we're letting you know also is that, you know, you have to stick to originality, you know, and try not to, you know, you can work with, but not to work under, you know, certain, certain people just like that, taking orders from people who, again, you don't know their motives. So you have to be careful. Yeah. All right, inshallah. Well, let me get going. I have some things, you know, that needs to be done in the, you know. Inshallah, okay.